this Chicago mother says that she has no idea how her son was infected with measles. He doesn't attend CPS schools and has mostly been at home. But his experience with the virus is something she never wants to have to endure again. Jessica Coletti never thought it would happen to her family. I feel like I've woken up in a, like an, a different world. Her three-year-old son Vincent started feeling sick last Wednesday. He was lethargic, not drinking, not eating. We were in the hospital on Friday and they sent us home, told us it was COVID. But days later, he was back in the hospital. He woke up Monday morning, didn't talk, didn't move, and the rash started on his cheeks, on his face, and moved all the way down his body. I knew something was severely wrong with my child. She says Vincent tested positive for measles and was the sickest she had ever seen him. I honestly thought he was going to die in my arms. And I just kept telling him that mommy's getting help and you're going to be okay. The CDC recommends that children get two doses of the MMR vaccine, the first at 12 to 15 months of age and the second between the ages of four and six. Jessica says her son has received his first shot, but he isn't old enough yet to get the second one. When kids have one vaccine in, we're talking about a 93% efficacy in protection against the measles. When they have two vaccines themselves, we're go we go up to 95 to 97% efficacy. We have a lot of toddlers in this little age group where they might fall into this range where they don't have enough immunity built up. Tonight, Vincent is starting to bounce back. He seems much better. He's sitting next to me. He has chocolate on his face, but he is much better. But now this family's concern is turning to their other child, who's already showing symptoms as well. I never would have thought we would came back positive for measles. And now I'm just scared and concerned for my 10 month old. And we just heard actually from Jessica again, just within the last few hours here. And she does say that she's in the ER once again now with her 10 month old daughter after she started to feel worse. So the entire family now is in quarantine for 21 days after what has been obviously an incredibly scary ordeal. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.